One of my coworkers gave me this smart ass idea that I'm actually gonna go with. Now, me. I'm gonna open this with some information. Me, I see the world a little differently than most people. I don't see all the details and the sadness and things that people see. And I'll make statements about what I believe and what I feel. Here's what this is. This is now going to be a new weekly thing, along with other things that I'll try to do. I just found my cord for this, so I'm up going to upload a few videos that I did this weekend. Um, but first, it will be this. And the title, Spilling the Tea with Tommy V. Then I'll have some cool intro once I actually start doing it more professionally. Well, not professionally, but whatever. Do you really care? I wouldn't. Alright. Now, let's get started. I watch the news. Yes. I watch the news. Lately, there's been all this stuff on gay marriage, should it be legal. Here in California, since that's where I live, they've been having this whole thing with the courts, and you know, Prop 8's repeal, it's taken out, and then they get it okay to marry, and it's about to be legalized so you can marry tomorrow. And then there's the appeals, and now we have to wait till at least December. At least. And that's expedited. And, okay. Let's put it this way. If I were to marry a girl, would that affect a heterosexual's marriage? If I were to marry a black girl, would that affect a heterosexual marriage? If I affect a or if I marry a Mexican girl, will that affect a heterosexual marriage? If I marry an Asian woman, would that affect a heterosexual marriage? If I just happen to find another homosexual male and marry another homosexual male, is that going to affect? heterosexual marriage? The answer to all of those is no. Whoever I marry is the person that I will marry. Not who all these other heterosexuals are going to marry. It's who I'm going to marry. So, I think all of these people are absolutely batshit crazy. And I'm not going to deny it. They're crazy because they're letting other people's things, if they want to choose other people's problems, affect them. If my life is so horrible, let it be horrible. Let me go to hell for loving a man. Stop being judgmental so you can save yourself from the same damnation. Because by you being judgmental, you are entitling yourself to the same exact damnation as I am entitled for being gay. So, yeah, let us both go to hell. I'll see you there. Alright, now on to other news. Yesterday, I was watching the news and I found out about a monster truck race. There just happened to be a monster truck that sort of just crashed and killed like eight people. And you know, 
this news I'm watching. Talking about how tragic it is. And how horrible it is. That people died. Sitting on the sidelines of this monster truck race thing. And I'm just watching this thinking all those poor people watching this have to have their time wasted. <laughs> but seriously, if someone is working with a chainsaw and accidentally kills himself, like cutting down a tree and the chainsaw slips and they die, you won't hear about it. If a monster truck happens to lose control and kills people because they're standing right on the sidelines of a monster truck race that's going on at night, like, yeah, it's kind of like a new shit. There's always crashes and races. Have you ever seen NASCAR? And these are giant things that are huge, okay? I mean, this one was almost as bad as Shamu the Killer Whale killing someone. And how do these things become such huge news? And then there was a flight attendant that went crazy on the plane, apparently. And I guess he went crazy in, like, JFK, I guess? And, like, then it was, like, this huge news thing, and, like, then, like, more stuff was being recovered, and, like, he handled that situation a lot better than I would. I would have punched that fucking guy's lights out. God, I mean, he only cussed him out. I would be like, bam, bitch, don't ever talk to me like that, ho. Mmm, okay. So, yeah. I don't blame the flight attendant at all. And I know there's more news, I just can't think of it right now. Back on the monster trucks, just cause that one, I got the biggest, oh god, I just remembered. The other day I was watching the news, and I heard about this bird, that flew away, I mean, It was on the news. This was a few weeks ago, like even maybe a few months ago, but I mean, really, a bird flew away. And then they were making a whole bunch of jokes about it, like it flew the nest. And I don't remember what type of bird it was, but they were making jokes using its name also. And they're all like trying, like, it's also like, if you see this bird, call this number, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like... What the fuck? I mean, how many dogs are lost? How many cats are lost? Those never make it into a bird, into the news. But one bird goes missing. And it's a fucking news story. What the hell? I swear, people in California need to get their priorities straight.
people are stupid. But that's just a little overdone. I mean, a fucking bird. A fucking bird flies away. Yeah, birds fly. It doesn't want to be kept in a nest or a cage. be any more stupid. I'm amazed at how stupid some people can be at times. Amazed. And then I look at myself and I'm like, how can I deal with these people? And then again, I do do some stupid ass shit. your shirt. Totally off topic. But I have to show you this because one of my friends made me realize this. Okay, look at the thing on the bottom and tell me what it looks like. Okay. Especially where it comes up from. Just right there. Up. Even has two sort of round things right at the bottom that sort of just go off the shirt. And just, uh... Yeah. One of my friends showed that to me, and I'm like, oh, interesting. I didn't even think about that. Mm. Well, yeah, I'm gonna go to doing other things, because I can. I'm gonna upload my stuff to my camera.